Hey folks, BuffaQ here again, coming at you today with a video I'm really excited about. Um, I have a firearm here to show you guys today that you really don't see very often, and I'm really excited about showing this to you guys. Um, what I have here is a C Camp in 25 ACP. Um, this is a firearm that I am really excited about. Um, as far as pocket automatics go, this is this is pretty much uh, the Cadillac or uh, or the Rolls Royce or whatever have you um, of small pocket automatics. This is an incredibly well made um, small caliber self defense pistol. Uh, I came by this, uh, sort of, sort of by luck, um, a gun shop, it's not really, it's sort of local, but it was a little bit of a drive for me, uh, not quite an hour away, but, uh, a gun shop near me had two of these on sale, um, they had this one in 25, and then they had the, um, LWS 32, um, they had one of each, both brand new, uh, in stock, and they were both on sale. Um, typically, the uh, 25 ACP you see here uh, retails for $510. Uh, of course, that this is as of December 21st, 2017, uh, but normally it retails for around $510. And I believe the 32 is basically uh, the same price. It may vary by a couple of a couple of dollars, but it's pretty much the same price as well. Uh, the gun shop I found this at had them on sale, kind of a, a uh, holiday uh, markdown for the holidays. So it was already on a little bit of uh, a reduced price to begin with. And when I called the shop just to ask them, it's one of the shops that I call. Uh, I've got a. a, a a list of shops around me that I'll call once about every two or three months just to say, hey, curious what uh, small pocket calibers you may have in stock right now. You know, do you have any uh, new or used 25s or 32s or, uh, you know, that sort of thing because that's that's what I'm most interested in. And when I called this particular place, they said, actually, right now we have two brand new C-Camps in. And when they told me that, I thought, well, that's as much as I would love to have one, it's probably going to be out of my price range because these are not cheap little pistols. Uh, but she said, uh, the lady at the gun shop said, actually, we've got them on sale right now. She said, come on in and take a look at them. While I had her on the phone, I asked, I said, well, do you, do you take trade-ins? And she said, yes, we do. And I thought, well, that's interesting, because um, if it's on sale and they accept trade-ins, I actually would be willing to trade uh, a couple of my current uh, firearms just to, just to get one of these little C-camps. And so basically, that's what I did. Um, you know, that's kind of part of the fun of, of being into firearms. Uh, you know, you, you buy what you like and, and, you know, you may think, well, this is something I'll have for the rest of my life. Well, if in a year or two you find something else you want a little bit more, uh, you know, they, they, uh, don't really lose value as long as you take care of them. Uh, you can usually get pretty close, uh, to what you put into them. You can usually get pretty close to that back out of them. So, long story short, went to the gun shop. I traded in, uh, I had a small North American Arms 22 mini revolver and 22 long rifle. Uh, I did a video on that firearm just a few days ago. Uh, well, it wasn't on that firearm, but that was, it was in the video. Uh, I traded that firearm as well as um, the firearm that you can see in my very first video that I ever posted. Uh, the video title, I believe, is um, Unintentional Influence. And uh, it was a Astra Model 200 Firecat. Uh, and basically, it was a little 25 automatic that was made by Astra under a contract for Colt. Uh, it, it's basically just uh, a, a Spanish... Uh, it's basically just a, a, a direct copy of the 1908, the Colt 1908 Vest Pocket. Okay, and that's what that little Astra was. And I loved that little Astra. It was an excellent little pocket pistol. Had a lot of neat fe uh, features. Had a, a grip safety. Um, the European style heel, heel release. Um, 
you know, you could lock the slide back. A, few, a, a lot of neat little features on that firearm. But it, uh, of course, I bought it used, and uh, I carried it and used it, um, well, you know, fired it quite often. So it was not in brand new condition, but I, I had it in pretty good condition. So I thought, well, that's one I'd be very much willing to part with if it means being able to get a hold of a sea camp. Uh, because, again, for me, this is this firearm has been kind of a, uh, you know, it's been on my list for a long time, but I never thought I would really have the money to pay, you know, pay $500 for a 25 ACP. I, I realize sounds kind of ridiculous, but 25 ACP is my favorite caliber, okay? It's what I enjoy the most, so uh, for me, uh, being able to trade two others in uh, while this was on sale, and basically I got it as a straight trade. I uh, didn't really have to pay anything. We uh, we talked for a little while and, and came to an agreement on what my two firearms I, w I was trading in were worth, uh, and then uh, this was already on sale, and the gun shop, uh, wonderful folks, it's kind of a mom-and-pop gun shop, that's the only places I like to, to do my purchases at, they came down a few more dollars even still, and basically I was able to do a straight trade, two firearms for one, two used firearms for one brand new C Camp and 25. So anyway, uh, that's what we have here. The uh, LWS 25, that's how it's listed on their website and in their catalog. Just a few specs um, if, if you're interested. Uh, the weight on this firearm uh, with, with an empty magazine is right around 12 ounces. Uh, it's a 6 plus 1 capacity. Uh, I will show the magazine is loaded because this just got back from the range. Um, check the chamber here. Oh, one thing that's interesting about this, and, and I still haven't gotten used to it, uh, to check the chamber. Okay, if you want to check to see whether the chamber is loaded or not. Well, first of all, you have the little window in the top, as most firearms do. You know, you can look down there and see if you see any brass. But uh, most of us aren't comfortable just looking in that window. We want to do a double check anyway. What you have to do with this firearm uh, and it, this is listed in the manual. This is just how the thing is built. Um, you don't drop the magazine completely. Um, you just unlatch it, okay? Pull the slide back, okay? You can then see, okay, the chamber is empty, but you have, you know, a loaded magazine there. So what you have to do is, after you've checked the chamber and seen, okay, the chamber is empty, you le release the slide. What happens is it has not chambered around because the the magazine, excuse me, <clears throat> the magazine was not seated. Okay, so you still have your your six rounds in your magazine, and then there there is no round in the in the chamber. This is as far back as you can pull the slide without having the magazine in. Okay, this won't come back any further than that right there. That's as that's as hard as you can pull. It's not coming back any further. Okay, and that's by design. That's how this firearm is made. Um, you know, that alone may be something that someone may pick this up, find that out, and go, nope, not interesting more, thanks anyway. Uh, and I get that. That's totally fine. Uh, you know, we're, we're all different. We like what we like. But I love this little firearm. Uh, a few more specs for you. Um, like I said, uh, 6 plus 1 capacity. It's, uh, it's a stainless steel finish, and it is highly, highly polished. Uh, that's one of the things I like most about this firearm. Uh, I like a polished firearm. Uh, I, I like the look of, of a nickel finish or, uh, you know, uh, polished stainless steel. Anything that's got that nice shine to it, uh, I just think looks nice. It looks classy. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I took took this out uh, to my own, little, my own little private range here on my property and um, put, about, put about a box of uh, 50 rounds through it. And out of 50 rounds, had one, uh, one little little, little hang up there, uh, and it was a uh, it was a failure to eject. Um, it was it was really close to um, to being uh, I guess what you call a stovepipe, but it wasn't quite. It was uh, it was just barely hanging out of the side. Um, between the uh, the chamber and the in the slide here, so one little round that hung up, uh, and that was early on. I think it was in the first. Matter of fact, I think it was in the first uh, six or seven rounds I fired through this was that was that one that hung up. But the rest cycled beautifully, had no issues, kept a really nice, neat, 
tight little pattern. Um, uh, of course, I wasn't I wasn't uh, real far back from the target. I was you know maybe ten or twelve yards, uh, which is not very far. But uh, that's what this is made for. One thing that's interesting about this, if you haven't noticed it already, um, there are no sights. There are no sights at all when you when you uh, hold this firearm when you aim at your target. That's that's what you see. Uh, you have no sights at all on the top of this firearm. And again, obviously that's by design. It's it's totally snag free. It's meant to be drawn from the pocket, um, and there's nothing on this firearm to hang up. Uh, there's no external safety. Uh, it's double action only, of course. Pretty heavy trigger pull, okay, as would be expected for uh, a firearm like this. Uh, about 11 and a half pounds, okay. Um, and again, I'll show. It's the, we know the chamber's empty. The magazine's out. Um, while it is a heavy trigger pull, it's not um, it's not creepy uh, or or uh, sluggish. It's a nice smooth uh, trigger pull. If I had some snap caps in it, I'd be happy to show you that right now. But I don't I don't have any with me. Uh, so anyway, just a few specs on the firearm. Nice quality, well built firearm. The one thing I did actually end up having to pay for when I bought this firearm was the holster. Um, this is a beautiful holster um, made by Bear Creek in Texas and basically you can see the company the uh, C Camp company logo is is stamped into the leather here uh, as far as I understand this company uh, Bear Creek only makes pocket holsters for the C Camp uh, automatics that's all they do okay um, beautiful leather stitching um, just a quality piece. You've seen these before. It's nothing, nothing original or nothing new, but um, it's made to go down in the back pocket. Uh, you can see I've kind of already got it a little, a uh, little warped there because it's been in my back pocket for a couple of days now. But it goes down the back pocket. This is facing outwards, so you know if you slide this down the back pocket, uh, if you're standing in line at the grocery store or whatever, someone sees this in your back pocket, they're just gonna think it's your your wallet or, um, you know. Big, big chunky cell phone or something like that. Uh, they're not going to think firearm. So anyway, that's my newest investment. Uh, I guess I guess you can call it investment because uh, uh, I did have to trade a couple of firearms for it. This is going to be my new carry gun. I'll go ahead and say that. Um, if nothing else, you can you can guarantee you know of at least one channel here on YouTube where. Uh, the uh, the person does actively carry a 25 automatic, and that's me. Uh, I carry a 25 auto quite often, and now that I have this little beauty, uh, it's going to be with me all the time. Uh, like I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, it's 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 all about um, consistency and responsibility. You know, being responsible and carrying as often as we can. Uh, you know, I practice uh, a lot as far as marksmanship. Uh, yes, it may be a little meek 25 auto, but folks, I'm a crack shot with it. And that's that's what it comes down to, uh, being proficient with what we choose to carry. And this is absolutely what I'm going to be choosing to carry for uh, the foreseeable future. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that a firearm that you don't see super often, the little C-Camp and 25 auto. If you have any other questions about it, please message me. I'd be happy to tell you what I think about this firearm uh, if it's something I haven't already mentioned. So aside from that, guys, again, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.